Okay, so it's time to be very honest about dropshipping. Here's exactly how I lost everything doing dropshipping. I mean, it all started good. I, I mean, I saw videos right here on YouTube and it motivated me to start my own dropshipping business. Like as soon as I came across a video on YouTube, I started my dropshipping business right away and I didn't even have any money and I was able to find a way to, you know, get people on my website for completely free. Okay, now cool. I now made my first $10,000 with over 75% in profit because I literally didn't spend any money on ads. So obviously the business, the idea of starting a dropshipping business, you know, it sounded good because after just a few months of um, trying, it worked with a pretty high profit margin, right? So then the following months, I used that $10,000 that I, you know, made, well, rev in revenue, but I used the profit from that $10,000 to then go ahead and, you know, run some Facebook ads, you know, and try new products, right? To get the big numbers and stuff that I was seeing all over YouTube. And well, after a few months of literally giving that a shot, I was able to do over $200,000 in just a couple of weeks. That all sounds good, right? Well, here's exactly why dropshipping can actually be very dangerous in, in many ways that essentially ruined my life. No, I didn't get sued or any of that BS. So listen carefully because this can happen to you watching this video. Okay, so now obviously after making like a little over $100,000 in profit between the product that made me, you know, $200,000 and some other stores that I was running, you know, after I made that, you know, first $10,000 revenue month, your life literally changes like pretty much instantly, you know, I moved into a nice luxurious apartment, nothing that was too crazy as far as, you know, um, how much it costs, but then my lifestyle also changed and upgraded, you know, traveling, shopping, eating at fancy restaurants. And we certainly can't forget, you know, popping, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, bottles, yeah, bottle service, very expensive. Like none of that is cheap, but I felt like, you know, I was always going to make money, you know, selling products. And then boom, one day, all that money literally disappeared. I went back to zero with all my new bills and lifestyle expenses. I mean, that's why making it fast is it's not the best for everyone, especially if you don't have guidance from, you know, someone who has done it, done it successfully for years. So what happened that caused me to lose hundreds of thousands of dollars that I had worked hard for and, you know, earned? What happened was I was simply just, you know, fulfilling my orders the same exact way that I had been for months using the same exact suppliers, bro. And then for some odd reason, after, you know, selling $200,000 worth of products in just like two weeks or whatever, I start getting emails from, you know, customers saying the tracking numbers don't work. And I'm over there, you know, f I fulfilled all my orders, you know, I fulfill them pretty much every other day so I can get the tracking numbers as fast as possible. And then, you know, the customer gets their tracking numbers so they can track their packages. And then when I got those emails, I literally, you know, checked the tracking numbers to see if it was working, like if they can see if their package has been shipped, you know you know, whatever it is, right? Because that's what you can see when you have your tracking number. And the customers were right. It wasn't tracking, but I ignored the customers and kept fulfilling orders anyway, because when you're drop shipping with AliExpress, you know, it takes a couple of weeks for the tracking numbers to work. And you know, these were customers that, you know, right after getting their tracking numbers, they would complain. So to me, based off my experience, I'm thinking, oh, this is fine. And then just send them an email, you know, letting them know because not every customer will read your shipping, you know, page on your website. Even though on my website, it says it can take a couple of weeks 
for your tracking numbers to populate. So we're good, right? I'm thinking I'm in the clear. Now listen, I had moved into a luxury apartment and upgraded my lifestyle. And little did I know that this whole time, the supplier has been giving my customers fake tracking numbers that don't work. They were never fulfilling the orders. So you can imagine how I felt when I had to issue a refund to tens of thousands of customers, totaling literally more than the money that I had to my name in my bank account thinking it was profit. You know, they're chargebacks that cost you fees. And then there are all these customers that you have to issue a refund to. So I was actually in debt over $20,000. And when I complained to AliExpress, they were only able to refund about $9,000 of the hundreds of thousands of dollars that I literally had used to fulfill orders. You can imagine how that literally broke me because I mean, I have all these things that I have to pay for in my life now and all the money gone. And I am now in debt. And the crazy thing is, till this day, there is no like way to completely trust a supplier when you're using AliExpress, you know, to fulfill orders. There literally is not a way. And clearly, they don't give you your money back. They don't compensate you for a supplier being com a complete fraud and not sending and shipping out your products. But now, how did I bounce back? Because this was early 2019. I only bounced back because I'm mentally strong. I've never wanted to work for anyone in my life. So when I lost all that, I was like, okay, we're back at square one. I didn't cry about it. I was like, whatever. I'm good at selling products online. I know what I'm doing. You know, just under a year into dropshipping, running ads and teaching myself these things. I graduated high school at 16 years old. You know, usually people graduate at 18. So I'm not saying I'm the smartest in the room, but I learn things quickly. Okay. So dropshipping in under a year, I felt like I can sell, I can sell this water bottle. You know what I'm saying? I can sell a simple water bottle. So after all that happened, I used the $9,000 that I got in refund from AliExpress to literally just blow up some new stores. And moving forward, I used, like I started, you know, speaking with other people in the drop shipping space that I found on YouTube, like, you know, Hayden Bowles and whatnot. And after speaking to a few people, I was able to find a reliable agent that I was, you know, able to get on, you know, FaceTime, you know, FaceTime with. I was able to FaceTime them, see their face, you know, sign contracts. And, you know, now I don't like you can you can take all my money if you want. I will get my money back, everything, and you will pay for damages. You know what I mean? So I learned from that and I hopefully hope that you guys learn from this and don't think it's all sunshine and rainbows. I hope this video didn't scare you to, you know, start dropshipping or take it to the next level because it's a beautiful thing. It's still changed my life. Like if every business has problems, okay? When a problem happens with the way I am and the way my mind is, I just literally bounce back like okay that happened let's move on let's do let's get learn from it and move on they ain't no there's no time to cry or go back to a nine to five so hopefully this video helps you um vet out suppliers better or you start using apps like AutoDS, and then like i said once you blow up get yourself an agent so you're even much more safe from aliexpress you know supplies that might take your money um, so yeah, hope this video helps you out and don't be scared to start drop shipping. As a matter of fact, watch this video right here to see the easiest way you can use to start drop shipping without spending any money on ads. All right, peace.